folks, this is Sinal Sarge. Today we're doing a guide on how to set up your custom Project Zomboid server using G-Portal. I've tried a couple different methods and finally figured out the proper process about a week ago. If you have any questions, simply post your questions below. If this video helped you, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. This helps others looking for a solution to find this video. As a quick note, this process worked for Project Zomboid Build 41 and may need to be updated as G-Portal makes changes or as Project Zomboid is updated. If you plan on having a multiplayer server from G-Portal, just know you can have up to 16 players currently inside of the server. No need to purchase a server larger than this. Okay, once you've purchased the server, you will need to navigate to the server status screen and ensure the server is off. Since this is a fresh install, you will need to start the server so all the settings and files created on the new server. As a note, I recommend you start the server, let it sit for about five minutes before moving on to the next step. You'll know that the server is loaded because you'll see the game server load actually has a percentage that is showing. Once you've waited, go ahead and turn the server back off. You wanna give it one or two minutes to completely shut down and then navigate to the basic settings tab. Before you update anything on this page, ensure you see an admin password and Archon password for your server. This lets you know when you turned on the server, it created all the files that you actually need. Next, you're gonna update this entire page with all the basic settings that you want. Ensure you don't hit the save button until you have updated all the settings on this page. If you're adding mods to your custom server, you will need to visit the Project Zomboid Community Workshop and paste in the mod name and ID into the proper boxes. Make sure you place a semicolon after each name and ID. Once you have updated the basic setting page, review it, and if you're happy, go ahead and press the save button. Next, you're gonna to navigate to the configuration tab. From here, you will search for the server, forward slash server test underscore sandbox vars dot LUA file. If you have more files than I do listed here, this document will be at the very bottom of the dropdown. Once you click this file and it loads, you wanna go ahead and go to the Project Zomboid Wiki Custom Sandbox Settings linked in the descriptions below. This will help you understand each of the settings that are listed inside of the configuration file. It is vital you take your time to update this page. You can go through this page to help set up the server based on the custom settings you prefer. Make sure you don't accidentally remove any of the symbols such as the comma after numbers or the server won't load correctly. Once you have updated the entire configuration file, hit the save button at the top of the page. At this point, you can now move back to the status page and you can now start your server. Wait for the server to load before trying to log into the game. This is gonna take a few minutes. You can now go in game, choose to join, Add your custom server details on the right side of the screen to include a username and password for yourself. Save it, and then it will favor your server now so that you can left click it to join the server. Now, congratulations, you have now customized a server and you can use it for your community inside of Project Zomboid. As another note, at any time, you can come back in and update these settings, but ensure that you turn off your server prior to doing that. Thanks for watching the video. This is Senile Sarge signing off.